Hello, remember me? I'm Isaac Wyman, proprietor of Keene's Wyman Tavern. I was captain of the local militia in 1775. Uh, we mustered right here before marching to Lexington and Concord at the start of the American Revolution. I know that's a bit before your time, but just think for a second. More than two centuries later, you're still surrounded by history. Travel around the Monadnock region and you'll find colonial era churches and meeting houses, beautiful stone and covered bridges, one room schoolhouses, old railroad depots, handsome mills, country stores, not to mention village greens surrounded by century old homes. History is very much alive here in Cheshire County, giving us a landscape and a lifestyle that's been described as the Courier and Ives corner of New Hampshire. And you know, that didn't happen by accident. It happened because many people who came after me valued our history and took steps to preserve it. I'm Alan Rumrill, Executive Director of the Historical Society of Cheshire County. The Society was founded in 1927, more than 80 years ago, and our mission then and now is collecting, preserving, and communicating the history of Cheshire County. We pride ourselves in being the only countywide historical society in the state of New Hampshire. But what does that really mean? Well, for starters, in collaboration with local historical societies, we are the stewards of the history of 23 towns spread over more than 700 square miles where almost 80,000 people live, towns and people that encompass a lot of history. Countywide though we are, our 13,000 square foot headquarters is located here in Keene, in the Ball Mansion on Main Street, once the home of an early Keene merchant. Come in, meet some of our volunteers. At the center of our activities is our Wright Research Library where members and guests can find more than 300,000 local history items, including books, manuscripts, maps, photographs, and microfilms to support their research. Valuable resources built over many years. But you'll also find extraordinary collections in our display areas at the Wyman Tavern, and here in our Climate Control Museum, collections of paintings and prints, pottery and china, glass, toys, and more, the heritage of Cheshire County's past. And upstairs is our exhibit hall, home of the Society's superbly produced presentations on a wide range of historical subjects offered to both Society members and the general public at no charge. And just on Main Street is the Wyman Tavern, once my home and now a museum, open to visitors every summer from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Its period rooms and also its grounds present a most unique setting for educational programs. And I must admit, I like what they're doing with my old place. There's another facet of our operations that is quite popular, our museum store. Here you'll find a wide selection of books, DVDs, and other items, all related to Cheshire County history. Thoughtful gifts for history lovers. History can have some very pleasing consequences. Here are some of ours. The Historical Society of Cheshire County now serves almost 1,000 members, as well as the general public, more than 6,200 attendees at our public programs. Annually, we handle 2,600 research requests serve more than 1,500 patrons using our research center and 14,000 visitors to our website. More than 500 children at our educational camps, 800 visitors to the Wyman Tavern, and dozens of collaborations with local Cheshire County Town Historical Societies. We're very proud of that. I was impressed with what my troops accomplished in 1775. What the society is doing today for history is amazing. So who are my troops? Meet Tom Haynes, Director of Education. Kelly Dickinson, Director of Operations. Kathy Shillimat, 
Administrative Assistant, and Gail Courier, Operations Assistant. That's our team, but we couldn't do all that without the help of 100 wonderful volunteers who annually contribute more than 3,000 hours of service. And let's not forget our energetic Board of Trustees. I'm Carl Jacobs. By accident of birth, I am descended from people who came to Cheshire County early in the 19th century. That means that on a personal level, the collections and programs of the Historical Society nurture my understanding of this place and who I am. Whether you were born here or arrived yesterday, I'm confident that the Society's programs and resources can do the same for you. And I'd like to add just one more thing about what makes this organization tick. Here at the Society, we talk a lot about the importance of preserving history because we know that history is a fragile asset. Once it's lost, it's lost forever. But when it's preserved, it's preserved forever. A living record of the forces that shaped this beautiful place and the people who live in it. Here in Cheshire County, history has a lot to do with our quality of life, our lifestyle. And we value our history not just as a sentinel to our past, but as a guidepost to our immediate future and to our children's future. Please help us assure that our history lives on. If you are already a member, thank you. If you are not yet a member, please join us. If we want to leave a valuable legacy to those who come after us, let it be our rich Cheshire County history. Why? Because you, as well as I, are very much a part of it. And trust me, it's nice to be remembered.